Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to deploy a machine learning model, specifically a TensorFlow machine learning model, on things like a website. Because, as you may know, some people just create a model but don't really have a method or means to deploy it and share the world what they've done or uh, use a way and make it, you know, user interactive in a much more like simple way other than, you know, typing in and manually entering parameters into the code. So in this, we were looking to try to change that. So first off, we'll start off with the basic model that was provided by the Torridge Data Science article, uh, link in the description. Um, so the first step we want to do is basically just, we want to run our model. Pretty simple. I won't go too in depth into this model, but Here's a brief overview. Basically, it's going to predict whether or not a number is odd or even uh, between 0 to 10. It's a pretty basic, pretty simple model, but it should accomplish the purposes of showing you guys the basics of how to deploy a machine learning model. So Let's just wait for that to run for a sec. So as it's running, as you can see, the TensorFlow model we created up here is called model. So obviously, uh, if you've seen any machine learning lecture um, of mine or another, you'll know that the model.add um, basically is just a method to add the layers and then compiles same to compile the model fit as fitting the data to the model. So now this method also comes in to save. So this is basically going to save a model into what's called an H5 type, which basically is just how you're going to save the weights, things like that. So if you click model.save, I already did it, so you should see an H5 right here. It'll basically pop up and you'll see a model.h5 on the side as it runs. So then you want to do this, which is basically just pip install TensorFlow.js. That is going to uh, install the packages necessary to run your model on the um, on a website, which is what we're going to be doing today. So obviously all my requirements are already satisfied because we ran through this notebook one once more, but you guys should see a new downloading and then it should also pop up with the model JS on the side. So now what you want to do is download each of these files separately because um, Colab doesn't really have a download folder kind of uh, function. So you want to download these files separately, find a place on your computer to basically store the files. So let's just create a new folder for this lecture, call it deploying model video. So here, I'm going to create a new folder, call it model underscore js. By that folder, we'll download these files. Hide this for a second. And then drag them into this. Obviously, the two shouldn't be there because I have multiple of those files on my computer. But yeah, and then you can download the model.h5. Obviously, again, three shouldn't be there, but. So now that you have this, basically your next step is to create, your next step is to install what's called a web server so that we can set up the model. So the link will be in the description for this web server, but this was the one I'll be using. If you have another one, you can feel free to use that, but this is probably the most simple for this experiment. So basically install this web server and then go to Chrome slash less apps, and it'll be in the description again, but you should see this pop up. So click on it, and you should see this. So now, choose folder, go back, then choose the deploying model video. I already have it done, 
So I'll use that. So as you can see, the folder here is chosen. Um, so we can go back here. We'll just choose another. We'll just choose this one. So as you can see here, here is the index of the current uh, directory. As you can see, it basically is just showing the files that we already have in this folder. Nothing special, but it should look like this to indicate that it's working. So the next step is to create a web page in which we can show our model on. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use this code. Um, this is also courtesy of the Towards the Sounds article, and I'll put this code in the description as well. So, so what we want to do is use this code to basically create the index.html file. So here we are. We can go here. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code because it's just uh, simpler for me. But if you guys have another text editor in which you can create an index.html, that also should work. So yeah, copy and paste this code. Basically, a brief walkthrough of this. At the top, we're going to import the tensorflow.js, which is basically how you're going to run your model. Then we're going to use these this method to load the model in because that's how you know the entire website's going to run basically on the basis of this model. So we have to load it in somehow, in which we'll use the model.json, which has a lot of the model data. Then we're going to use this predict method to use the model that we just made to basically predict based on the value of the user's input. It'll be basically a text box that gets the user's input. Then we're going to convert that value into what's called a tensor, which you can learn more about in my intro to uh, convolutional neural networks lecture. After that, we're going to use the model. We're going to use this kind of lambda function to basically uh, predict using the tensor. So we're going to use the model that we created up here to predict on the tensor that came out of here. And then we're going to round that value. And then this alert will basically create like a call out or like a pop up, whatever you want to call it, which will say either odd or even depending on the result. Then here, we're going to load the model in immediately to make sure that when the user clicks delete predict, there's not as much of a delay as we should be. Then uh, you see here the input ID, user input, um, so this basically is going to create the input box for the user input, which is going to save the value here. And then here we're going to have a button that when clicked, it basically calls back this predict method so that the model predicts the outcome. So let's go ahead and test it. So the way we're going to want to test it is go back to the web server that we have, click this URL, and make sure you save your index.html. It should. Yeah, so. Basically, you want to, if you go back here, you'll see this. But when you add your index.html file, which I'll do to my original folder. So now you should just see a little box here. And if you type five or something, predict says odd. Perfect. So now it works. Basically, it's just predicting it's odd. This is a very simple model, but it shows you a way you can deploy your machine learning models on the web. As you can see, there's no entering manual parameters like model.predict5. Instead, it's pretty user friendly. So it's definitely a useful skill to learn. Yeah, thank you.